Hey guys, myself Rakesh and today we are going to learn a very interesting concept around saving or resolving the conflicts. So what is this conflict? Let me show you. Let's say I have opened the same project which is bank A1 project in two different instances. So the first one, the left hand side, this first one, let's say the developer one is working on the first one. And the second one, the developer two is working on his laptop. Just to create the scenario, I have opened both the instances on my laptop. But again, just imagine developer one is working on same XML file and developer two is also working on the same XML file. So what would happen in that case, right? That is interesting to see. Okay. Now what we will do on the right hand side, which is developer number two, let's say the developer number two started updating the XML file. So which XML file they are using? main.xml file. Which XML file the developer one is using? main.xml file. Both are using the same XML file. Okay. So this is the XML file both of them are using. Okay. Now let's say the developer number two. What he is doing? He is adding some activity. He is making some changes um, to the sequence. So to keep it simple, we will use a message box. And here uh, for the message box, I am going to change the display name uh, to get an indication. And I'm going to say developer2 or dev2 I have written. And here in the message box, I'm going to write a changes made by developer number two. Okay, so this is the changes made by developer number two. So as soon as, as he made the changes, what he is doing. What you know, he might have added few activities, remove few activities, he's some kind of a changes or he has modified the properties of some certain activities. So he has done all the changes. So for, for example, for the button, he has added OK and cancel. So properties of an activity, couple of things in the main.xml file he has changed. He can work on any XML file. So for an example, I'm taking main.xml file. Both the developers are working on the same file. So let's say the developer two has made the changes and after making changes, he's going to save the project and he will go to the projects tab, right click on the name of the project and he's going to commit. Okay, hit on commit and here just for our learning purpose, I am simply saying changes made by dev developer 2 and I'm going to commit and push. So the moment developer 2 did the commit and push, what happened? All the changes that he has made is going to get uploaded to github.com. So the repository got updated by developer number 2. Now, after some time, maybe the developer one had gone on a break. So he's coming back and now he knew what are the changes needs to be done and he's making the changes. Okay. So what would happen? The developer two has already uploaded. Okay. Now look at it on a real time case. What would happen? Let's say I am, I am the developer one and let's say, and I'm the main developer. Let's say I'm the senior developer. So I'm, I'm doing the changes what I need. And um, you know the name of this is supposed to be let's say I'll keep it dev dev one that means developer number one um, you know do this experiment this is interesting and then here I'm going to type changes made by developer one so now I have made the changes. Okay, after making the changes, now as a main developer, what I will do? I will also do a commit and push, right? So if I do commit, okay, so let me first save it. First I need to save it and once the save is done, now I should do a commit. So what would happen? The developer 2 is unaware that somebody has already made the changes. Okay, so I should, this UI part should show me, right? Otherwise, it may happen his course may be right, mine may be wrong or mine may be right, his course might be wrong. So I need to review it. So UiPath should provide me an option to see those conflicts. Okay. So look at this. Now here I am saying, I will put a commit message changes made by developer 1. Simple and I am going to hit on commit and push. So in, at this particular stage, for many people, it you, know, it, you might see if you are experimenting on the same laptop. Um, it might ask you to sign out. Okay, if it is asking, this should not happen. But again, in case that is happening because I am doing on the same laptop to two instances, if you get this prompt, simply sign out. Okay, simply sign out. It's going to open the Google Chrome page. We'll wait for a second. So 
So we need to sign out and sign in back. That's all. Okay, so this is um, quite interesting. Okay, so this will give you an option to sign out. Okay, you got the option to sign out, so I am going to sign out. Okay, so I have signed out. Let's go back to the studio. Okay, and here I'm going to sign in back. Again, a page will open in Google Chrome. Let me enter my username, password. Okay. So the redirection should happen automatically. You should sign in back. Okay. So you can see I have signed in. Now hit on OK. So once you sign out and sign in back, click on OK. So what happened the moment I did this look at my screen right what happened it is saying the current branch is out of date meaning what that means somebody the developer 2 has already pushed all the changes to that main.xml file today so he has made some changes and has updated so here it's saying the current branch is out of date now you are making some changes this is out of date Okay, the you know whatever updates you are making, so this is this is just giving you an indication. So, in this particular screen, all you have to do hit on pull rebase. Okay, just hit on pull rebase. So, what would happen? It is going to show you what the developer two has done and what you have done. So you can compare and you can decide which one to keep. Okay. So now here, if you see the left hand side was done by development uh, developer two. If you see developer two. The message box he has added okay so it is saying developer 2 and the changes made by the uh, you which is local local means you are doing on your local laptop so this is local so this is by dev 1 so you see you can uh, verify okay what are the changes he has made if you click on this dev 2 display name has been changed to dev 2 uh, text changes made by developer 2 he has put a button called okay cancel but here this is your local so you know what changes anyways you have done but again here you can see that you have changed the display name you have kept the text uh, as developer one and then you did not apply a button so there is no button applied so this window gives a clear cut indication what he has done what you have done local means it is yours and the left side one is remote means someone who has already uploaded it so the developer two has already uploaded so it is appearing in the remote side so it is saying remote which is coming from github getting it so if you add remove delete modify some properties everything will be appearing here you can compare which one to keep let's say you felt hey uh, i should have gone for okay and cancel so what you do you choose left choose left means you are you wanted to keep the developer to work or let's say the okay and cancel button is not required this is the right flow developer to what he has done is not right what i have done is right then you can go with choose right so what would happen the right side the local side will be selected so this gives that easy option to save you know conflict whatever the conflicts are there you can see it here and you can take appropriate action let's say you want to make some correction so you can cancel this make some correction and then try to push it so this page gives you that option or a window to look at everything one by one and decide which one to keep or let's say yours is the better one and you need a bit of more modification you can cancel this make this modification again try to push it okay so here let's say i am okay with the right side one my uh, the currently developed one okay and cancel button is not required so i'm going to hit on save 
what would happen the one which i have created will get pushed to the github.com so now you can see this one has been pushed to the github.com so how do i uh, verify that i'll go to so this is developer 2 so what i have done the, uh, this i have applied where it is written developer 1 what will happen if i right click and hit on pull pull means is going to pull whatever the latest version is there in github so which is the latest version the developer one is the latest version right so that should automatically appear wait for a second okay now you can see for the developer two it has brought the when you pulled it it has brought the latest one which is developer one so this example should give you a clarity how uh, how do you uh, resolve conflict right if there are multiple people working on the same xml file it is not recommended but in case they have to work they need to coordinate well and then they should work okay before they commit into they should let other other people know okay i am committing this um, so there should be a well coordination if not this is one way to technically solve it okay so thank you for watching guys we are going to come up with more such interesting contents but do not forget to subscribe to our channel so please do subscribe we have all the contents almost all the contents on ui path going through our playlist going through the videos that we have created there are many people who have got jobs and you can see that in our community tab of our channel how many people have got jobs around the world so please do ensure you know you follow the channel playlist you follow the content and do subscribe and hit on the bell icon thank you guys we are going